everyone, welcome back to another design series video where hopefully I can teach you a thing or two about designing stuff. Now, if you're already a pro designer, well, I don't know if you're gonna learn that much, but I can hopefully maybe teach you something new about the software. If you'd like to help out the channel, don't forget to hit that subscriber button and also like the video if you like the content. And if you really, really wanna be an OG, hit that notification bell so you can get all the notifications when my new videos go live. If you're interested in asking any questions about these videos, I do stream on Twitch, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time and Saturdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. On Saturdays are the days I do live graphic designing, but feel free to come out any day of the week that I'm streaming and ask questions if you need to. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make Twitch text emotes. I know what you're gonna say. I did this video before in Photoshop, but today we're gonna be using Affinity Designer a new software that I have just felt fallen in love with. And without further ado, let's go. So to start off with your project, you're gonna go to file to new. And what I like to do is I like to make it the biggest maximum uh, upload size to Twitch, which, uh, which is 112 pixels by 112. Make sure that it's PX here. So I may increase it just a little bit more, decrease the size just a little bit. And now you have a perfectly sized wet Twitch text emote. Now, how can you spruce this up? So to spruce it up a Twitch text emote, what I like to do is put something over the top. For sub hype, since you're trying to hype them up, I would like to put some confetti over it. To do that, you can basically Google transparent confetti overlay. Uh, you can find pretty much any open source thing on Google you need to spruce up your Twitch text emotes. So once you find that cool overlay picture, all you have to do is go to file, place, and import that transparent confetti file, which for me is right here. And basically all you have to do is go down to the re resize panel and go to 112 width, manipulate it however you want. Probably gonna make it just a little bit smaller up here to match the, the cutoff of the sub. Now, if you wanna add something more to it, like a Twitch subscriber badge, just so that they get that special feel when they get that subscriber hype spammed inside of Twitch chat. So now that we have this really cool looking Twitch text emote, I do wanna add one thing. Now feel free to do this. If not, then you can finish and export your project here. I want to spruce it up and add a little Twitch crown to it to make it more personalized for your Twitch channel. So to do that, you go to file into place and do the same thing you did for the confetti, which was to import that image and resize it. So here's mine. It's massive. So you're going to want to resize it. I'm going to make it around this size for now as a placeholder. So now that you have your cool little crown, what you're going to want to do is move down the sub hype and confetti to make room for the crown because sometimes on Twitch, small things do not show up well in chat. So basically what I'm gonna do is lock this layer, control A the whole project and move it down a little bit. Still wanna keep that little bit of a white outline on there. I don't wanna cut anything off on that emote. So now I can unlock the crown. Uh, you can add a cool little rotation to it by going down to this little transform box here. I'm gonna add about 10 degrees of rotation to that, move it over. I'm gonna move the confetti layer up so that the confetti is also on the crown so it doesn't look kind of wonky. And now you can just kind of mess with your crown a little bit, get that perfect angle. If you want to, you don't have to keep the default blue color. All you have to do is go to the effects tab, color overlay, and change the color to whatever color you want. You can feel free to do a gradient as well. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go with like the Twitch purple. Uh, to keep that cool little gradient background, you can go down to the blend modes and experiment with different ones to see which one you like. Personally, I'm gonna keep it normal and I'm just gonna change the opacity. You can also do that as well to gain some of that gradient back. I'm probably gonna keep it at around 70% to keep the color I want, change it to more pink Pinkish. There is your cool sub hype text emote for Twitch. All you got to do now is go to file and export to each of the sizes you need to import into Twitch. So to do that, do it in PNG format because it'll keep that background transparent and will not add any weird outlines to it. All you got to do is click the export button, save it and go to your Twitch channel and import it. And that's all you got to do. Okay, that's all I have for the tutorial video today. Hopefully for all you newbies out there, you learn a thing or two and for all you experienced pros, uh, maybe I taught you a thing or two about the software. If not, uh, hopefully uh, the continuation of the series will uh, give you some insight in the software. Don't forget, I do stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time and on Saturdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. If you have any questions about this tutorial video, I will do my best to answer them. And if I don't know the answer to the question, I will Google them up and come up with an answer in my Discord. But thanks again for watching. I uh, hope that this video was insightful and I'll see you guys next time.